Juni is JetBrain's new coding agent. It's a whole new way of using AI to write code for you, and it will blow your mind. With simple prompts, Juni does a massive amount of work for you. It's not just a productivity boost, it's a new way of writing code. Let's take a look. We'll start with a clean Django project. There's nothing here but the defaults. Let's prompt Juni to create a library app with CRUD actions to manage books via web forms, and also write tests and execute them. Now we'll need to give Juni some time to work. So while we're waiting, I'll show you how to install it in PyCharm. First, go to the settings, plugins, and then search for Juni in the marketplace. Hit install and you're good to go. Juni is finished, so let's take a look. If we start the local server using the run button, we can view the website. We can add a book and see it listed on the homepage, edit it, and even delete it. Although we didn't ask for it, Juni has even updated the admin for us. And remember we asked for tests? Let's run them now and make sure they pass. They pass. Now looking at the code, Juni has used Django's test framework, but maybe we want to use PyTest instead. Let's write a new prompt to effortlessly switch over. This time, I'll uncheck the Brave Mode option. With the previous prompt, with Brave Mode enabled, Juni worked without ever interrupting us. With Brave Mode now unchecked, Juni will ask your permission when it performs operations like deleting files or running terminal commands. Whenever this happens, you can click the file to open PyCharm's diff viewer and see the work that Juni did, and you can revert the changes if needed. Juni's done, and the tests are updated. Let's run them using PyTest to make sure they pass. Look at that, they do. So previously we started from a clean project and let Juni do its thing. But what about existing projects? I have the official Django Polls app open here, and I'd like to switch from class-based to function-based views. While Juni is working on that prompt, let's mention a special file you can add to your project, .juni guidelines.md. In this file, you can add whatever global guidelines you would like within your project. For example, I could have written organize tests in a test folder within each app, and always use PyTest. You can add whatever you want to this file, from project level specifications, code style, specific instructions, Juni will take it all into account. One last time, Juni is done. Let's take a look at the change file. And it looks like the Django view has been properly refactored. Personally, I've been blown away by what Juni can do and how much potential there is in this new form of programming. Juni makes it so I can outsource many of the boring tasks and focus on the code I do like to write. The best advice I can give you is to try it out for yourself and feel how Juni can help you. Enjoy.